And we're back, folks, to Ports of Call. The modern version, XXL. Last time, we uh, went through all the basics of the game. This time, we're going to start focusing on making some real cash money so we can grow the company. Purchase more ships, make more money. Purchase more ships, make more money. And so on. You know, the stuff of greedy, greedy corporate bastards. That's what we're like. So, let's zoom into our ship starting to cross the Atlantic over here. Destination Moara Port. going to be a long way across the, the Pacific here. And you can see some of the companies are already not doing so well. Uh, there's a bit of a storm over here just a bit ago. Let's hope it doesn't affect us. Uh, there's strong winds again. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, apparently they did. Still, it's not a very strong wind here. Just a Beaufort 8. Well, when I say not very strong, it's pretty strong. It would take four days to go around. We can afford the weight. Um, and the ship is not in excellent condition as is, so let's not risk that. And we can afford the fuel, so let's go around. And there we go, underway again. Ah, well, because even the, even though we didn't go through the storm, the ship is still in pretty bad condition. Okay, well, we don't want the ship to be out of uh, fuel, so let's adjust uh, the destination and speed. Ah, they're no longer traveling. Okay, so they're no longer uh, spending uh, fuel, so that's good. Okay. Wasn't too sure whether those five days would count towards the travel time. Get to port quickly. And we got our money. Good. So, refueling. It's pretty expensive, so let's not pull up the tank. Let's see if there's any juicy charters around here. Uh, not in Moara, but we're gonna see elsewhere in Asia. There's usually something good to carry somewhere around here. Let's see. Uh, if we could get to Busan quickly, we could go to Shinbote and make a bundle. But I'm pretty sure it's too far off. So Busan to Shimbote. Let's see. Shimbote. It's in Africa. The western coast. Oh no. Oh. Completely messed up. It's in West South America. Is that uh, Ecuador? Peru? Hmm. Okay. Uh, how long would it take to get there? 37 days. And how long to... Busan, it's a pretty far off to the north in uh, Korea, so... Yeah. Plus 8 days. And the overall travel time was 44? Yeah. Cannot risk that too tight. Yeah, 44. So, not for us. Let's see, what else? Shenzhen. Oh, there we go. Shenzhen to Puerto Natales in South America, in South South America. Electronics, 90 bucks per ton. Now there we go. Let's go to Shenzhen. Shenzhen, here we come. Uh, 
Okay, use Doug's help. Go to Chinzen as quickly as you can. There we go. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, we're back at the exact amount of money we had to begin with. So, what if we uh, got ourselves another ship? Sounds like a plan. So, it's still a cargo ship. Still a Trillion. However, this one is going to be Mark II. Complete the purchase. Yes, set the maintenance. Two days in Dublin. Right, perfect. There we go. Already in Dublin. So, refueling. Uh, yes, please. You're not too expensive here. To a degree. So let's check cargo in Europe now. Lots of different cargo, it seems. So, anything that'll turn a tidy profit. Cadiz to Singapore. Well, if we had a super fast ship, that'd be great. But we don't. Ghoul. Oh, there's plenty of good cargo from Ghoul. Ghoul, I think, is in Wales. To Stanley, so uh, Oceania. Uh, New Zealand. And uh, Ghoul to Nagoya. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we can reserve these uh, two. Yeah, there we go. And go to Ghoul. Ah, completely wrong. Not Wales. Eastern England. Okay, let's sail out. Can't go under two days. So let's go under three. And we've arrived at Shenzhen. Or Shenzhen. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. So, here we go. Major port. Is the fuel cheap? Not really. Let's see how much we need. Let's charter. Uh, where was it? Ah, electronics to Puerto Natales. Here we go. So across the Pacific, yeah, I really need to refuel. Not the cheapest fuel, but it's gonna pay off. Across the Pacific, wow. It's a long journey. So how fast can we go? Pretty fast. Almost full speed. When, uh, well, when full speed is 12 knots, you know your ship isn't too fast, but... <laughs> as fast as we can. Oh yeah, because we have a heavy loaded, it's only 95% of the top speed anyway. Alright. A nice little organized harbor here. And we've got our reserved freight, so... There we go, that's one. And that's the other. Alright, so anything good to take. So we're going to Stanley, uh, down by the Falklands. We could then move on somewhere else, maybe. Buenos Aires, pick that up. Maybe move on to Oceania to deliver to Bernie or Darwin that we saw before. Mm. Yeah, this is much closer, so let's stick to that then. So, let's go to the Falklands. 
there's not going to be much to pick there up there. So let's go back to Buenos Aires and uh, pick stuff up, uh, pick stuff up in South America, Buenos Aires or Montevideo or something uh, afterwards. So yeah, let's do that. Refuel, pull up. It's a long trip. There we go. Twenty-five. Oh, okay, we'll get there within twenty-six days, and off they go. Oh, a storm! Damn it! Well, I have a lot of time, so and this is a Beaufort Nine. That's uh, serious, serious weather. That's really high speed winds. Another one. Ah, uh, no, they have to pay the pilotage fees for the reef, the Grand Barrier Reef there. You can see a wisp in the ocean. Yeah, that's supposed to be the Grand Reef. Grand Barrier, Great Barrier. Yeah, Great Barrier, I think it's called. So, ooh, this is even worse. Um. This is a stormy trip. Let's go around it again. Arctic storms. Or Antarctic storms, rather. Oh, they're up down to Stanley already. Use tug. So, let's see. Refueling. Uh, as could be expected, fuel is expensive in the Falklands. Anything to carry... No. So let's go straight back to Buenos Aires. Let's just quickly check if there's anything to pick up uh, south of that. Uh, not really. Paranagua... Uh, Paranagua has some stuff. Yeah, Paranagua has some stuff. Paranagua is south of... Um, I think it's north of Buenos Aires, right? Yeah, it's in Brazil already. Yeah, so let's go to Buenos Aires. Okay, out of Stanley. How fast can we get there? Under four days. Let's do that. Some ships you really never want to go full steam or even close to it because they have such powerful engines they're gonna empty your bunker in like 10 days if you go at full steam. But uh, these uh, really low power old ships I usually just go close to full steam ahead uh, as much as I can. Icebergs, well, go around again. Lots of extra delays. Ah, rats on the other ship. Use the tug. There's already some companies with a debt. I don't know what they're doing. So, Buenos Aires. Uh, fuel is not super cheap. Yeah, not particularly good freight around here. Okay, so let's check elsewhere in South America. What's the best cargo we can get right now? Yeah, too short of a time frame. Paramaribo. Paramaribo to Manila. Paramaribo to Manila. Uh, Paramaribo is much further north, I think. So, anything closer? Not really. 
Paranagua. Paranagua is not too far off. Uh, it doesn't pay as nearly as well. So how far is Paramaribo? Maybe 10 days? 13 days. Uh, let's go there. Puerto Natales, right down to the south. Okay, tug. Yeah, 13 days. Hurry it up. Ah, there we go. Puerto Natales as the fuel. Yeah, super expensive. Okay, made some good money though across the Pacific. Uh, so. Mm, yeah, no good freight here. Let's see, any good freight in the western coast of South America, so we don't have to travel all the way up the eastern coast like with the other ship. Um, so Paramaribo is that freight. Talara. Talara. Talara is on the western side, right? That's Ecuador, maybe? There we go. How far is it? 10 days. Yeah, that's our freight right there. So let's filter that. And where's the one we want? The one we want was Bella one. Yeah, that's it. We might pick something else if we can, but that's the main thing we're going to carry. There we go. Let's refuel a bit more. So we can go full steam without risk. Puerto Natales. We can go under 10 days. Let's go. Oh, uh, we're still in terrible condition, so let's go around. Actually, can we improve? I think we can afford to improve now. The uh, maintenance setting, let's go to ship shape. Okay. In fact, we can actually buy another ship, I'd say. Ah, again, rats. That's because we're not keeping in them ship shape, that's why. Time is money. Five days in port is a long time in quarantine. Ah, Paramaribo. Let's go. River port. Nice murky uh, brown water. Excellent to swim in. Super expensive fuel though. Uh, so where's the charger? Oh, I'm actually tempted to take the... Can we do... Whoa, no way. Even at full steam, we cannot make that at all. Uh, okay, so let's go to Manila then. It's a pretty good price. We'll have to refuel all the way up, though. And uh, go to Manila. Are we going to the eastern route? Ah, oh, no, we're going to cross the uh, Panama again. Uh, I was wondering if we are going to go just under the uh, cape there, but no. Okay. The other way around then. Talara, right. Well, that's a sandy, desolate uh, landscape right there. Out of Paramaribo. Oh yeah, go ahead. We don't have a simulation on, so that doesn't really matter. Let's just go under 41 days. Can I Come on. No, yeah, okay. Ah, freight is reserved. Yeah, let's go pick that up. There we go. And what else is there to carry? Uh, Bella one is, yeah, in uh, Indonesia. That's about 40 days away. Muara 
Can we make that? Not really. Though the penalty might be worth it. Hmm. Uh, maybe not. Let's take that instead to Sudabaya. Yeah, and not risk. Anything more? Fuel isn't super expensive, not super cheap either. Let's fill that up. We're gonna need all the fuel we can get. And actually, these are pirate waters uh, at some point, so let's uh, get an escort to travel with us. And let's go to load up stuff to Surabaya. And there we go. Sailing off from uh, Talara, you can imagine that's our ship. Actually, pretty close to that size, I'd say. A small one. And let's see, how fast can we make it? Under 35 days? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, both just crossing the Pacific. Papit, Honolulu, Suva, Numea, Kalai, all these exotic destinations. We're going to Sotobaya. Ah, what happened there? Ah, a small storm. I think we could tank that, right? Pass through it. Ooh, there's damage. Not that little. 3% uh, damaged. Oh, this is a longer way around. Ah, we can make it. There we go. Nice uh, brown water again. Typical. Ah, images of uh, a ferry being uh, loaded. So, refuel. Is it expensive here? Not really. Indonesia is an oil producing country, so makes sense. Let's get uh, fueled up. Made a bunch of money already. That paid for the crossing, pretty much. Anything we can pick up. Uh, wow. Yeah, let's stick to that. That's pretty good price for tobacco. Let's get the Bella one. Take an escort. Yeah, sail off. Can we make it under four days? Yes, we can. Once we get back to a million five, I'll buy another ship. As you can see, the uh, trillions are pretty economical because they're terrible and super cheap to run. Collision course, wow, uh, that's not good. Okay, they escaped. And let's go to Bellowan. And the Thriller in Manila. Super expensive uh, fueler. Any charter? Um, not any good ones. Okay, let's check the market again. So, this time around, Asia. In general, Asian cargo, no matter the destination, let's see. Wow, if we could have made that, that is super, super well paid. A million for 3,000 tons. Osaka. I like the sound of that. Yeah, why not? Let's visit Japan! Pr 
pretty close from where we are, so... Uh, let's buy a tiny bit more fuel. And go. Can we get that under five days? No. Six. There we go. Refuel. Sure, let's just top it up. Not super expensive. And so, anything good to take? Not bad. Yeah, we can take T2. Jose. They'd really have to go to the lake route, right? Yeah, you'd have to go to the, through the lake, I see. Uh, that's a bit far at the end of the trip. Uh, let's take that. That's pretty well... Actually, this, how far is it? Ah, oh, we can't get there in time. So, Jose, let's take that. And... San Juan... Yeah, if we go to Recife, will we go to the western route? Yes, we will. Excellent. Uh, so that way we don't have to pay for the channel fees uh, at the Panama. Um, uh, let's uh, end up in the Caribbean. Yeah. Let's take that to uh, San Juan. So, first port of, of call will be Recife. Let's go there. And we're up to 2 million, so we can buy another ship. Things are starting to speed up. So, uh, just another 31 days. Perfect. Okay, 2 million. Should we buy another Trellion and just uh, capitalize on how good we're doing? Uh, how well we're doing? How good the ship is? Or... Uh, maybe add a bit of variety. Maybe a tanker. It's much more limited in what they can carry. Uh, let's keep to what we know. Mark 3. Complete the purchase, yes. Let's see you in Dublin. There we go, so can refuel the baby up and I'm pretty sure we can find some decent cargo somewhere around here, right? Europe has decent cargo. Well, decent cargo, but uh, they expect super quick delivery, so not for us. And our uh, turtle ships. And make them to Bernie. Yeah, we cannot make that in 42 days. Ah, King's Lent to Hobart. I think we can make that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, over our capacity. But yeah, let's go to King's Lent to travel to Hobart then. So King's Lent in England. Hobart and uh, Tasmania, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and here we go. Would you like a strictly collateral confidential agreement? This is illegal criminal activity. Let's see. Say, uh, let's see what they have to offer. 70,000 for a handy little chest. That's a, not a lot of money for quite a high degree of... Uh, Illegally smuggling something that could be potentially worth a lot in fines, so no. Doubled? No, still not enough. Here we go, Osaka. Very impressive. Extremely large and complex uh, port. Let's go to King's Land. We cannot go under two? No. So let's just keep under three. Days to go. 
And here we go. Ooh, expensive fuel though. All those Japanese uh, fuel taxes. Uh, so. What was... Oh. Was this what we saw? Hmm, maybe. It's pretty well... Yeah. Pretty good in terms of payment. Let's refuel to the max then. We'll go all the way to Buenos Aires from there directly. 40 days. Yeah, that's a long trip. That's pretty much antipody to antipody. Let's go. Just under 41 days. King's Land. Let's see, what have we got here? Yeah, Hobart and Brisbane. Ah, might as well go to, directly to where we can carry the most cargo to. And there we go, Hobart. Almost, yeah, it's with the Antipodes as well. Load up. Long travel for both. Thirty nine point five point nine. Excellent. Save a few tons of fuel. Yeah, we're still on top there. That's uh, our graph right there. Almost one year passed. October 75. Ah, let's see. Fisifa. Use the tug. Ah, kind of expensive fuel though. Slavyanka from Valletta in Malta. Yeah, popular place to have your ship registered. Uh, for chat, just tax purposes. And by that I mean for tax avoidance purposes. And by that I mean you're a fucking criminal. Uh, so... They have very low, probably very low ship maintenance standards. Uh, San Juan or Jose? Let's go first to Jose. Might be dangerous waters. Uh, Venezuela maybe and Colombia. So, let's take an escort. Just in case those drug lords uh, have uh, some fancy ideas. I'm not exactly sure if there are pirates over there, but yeah. Rather be safe than sorry. So, under eight days. Oh, they found someone uh, adrift. Yeah, rescued them. On their way to Hobart. Ah, here we go. As you can see, uh, oil installations for the most part. Buenos Aires. And yeah, here go the refineries. Jose in Venezuela. So, ah, well, fuel is surprisingly expensive for such a, a rich oil country, but okay. And nothing good to pick up. Hmm. Well, let's move north to San Juan a few days. Can we go under two? Yes, just under. And refueling again, a bit of an expensive side, but we'll take uh, every 
bit we can't make it to the next port well we'll actually find some good freight so south american freight thank you very much and what can we have uh not much not much Ah, the lot of the dar es salam we could reserve that in fact let's that's just under our total capacity so Talara and you're going under yeah don't have to cross the Panama and there they go and Hobart Hobart use the tug and we're already up to two million we're making some good money Just under 16 days. There you go. San Juan. What a landscape. Look at that. Of course, the cruise destination Hobart. That's full up. We can spare the money. We can spare the expense. Charter, anything good to carry out of Hobart? Not particularly. We can check on other cargo though. Let's see, Australia. Apparently you have iron ore and whatnot to carry from uh, Australia, usually a sheep from New Zealand. Ah, fruit from Papeach though. Fast delivery to Porto Grande. We cannot make that in time. Ah, Bernie. Paper to Ponta Delgada. Ponta Delgada is in the Azores. Interesting. Azores, we might have some wine or other uh, local produce to, to travel out from there. And it's a pretty good price here. So, Bernie's just across the uh, Tasmanian island. Yeah, let's reserve that. Let's go to Bernie. Okay, made some extra cash. Here we are at San Juan in Puerto Rico. And wow, is that cheap fuel. I wish we hadn't filled up uh, before. Okay, nothing good to carry though. So let's double check North America. Anything we can take for a good price somewhere. Yeah, if only we had fast ships. If only. So, anything decent? New York? To Port Hedland? Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's go to New York! New York! And make our way down to Hedland afterwards. Hedland in um, the western coast of Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Port Hedland. Hobart, yeah, use the tug. Can you round that? No, at least two days. Okay, no, oh, close to two days. San Juan, let's go to New York. Yeah, just under five days, excellent. Speed things up, people, let's speed things up. Uh, icebergs, be careful. One extra day to travel, take your time. I think we can afford to buy another ship. Ah, what a quaint little port city. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, some sort of uh, specialized sand or cement component uh, shipping uh, terminal. So, reserved freight. There we go to the Azores. Anything else we might take to Europe or North America? Algeciras is in Spain. We could take that. Oh, that's a pretty good price. Uh, if we go to the Azores, we would take the western route, the southern route. Okay. And if we go to 
I'll just see this where you go to the... Uh, okay, you take the Suez. Okay, so let's not go there then. Uh, we might go there afterwards though. Uh, maybe Casablanca. That's an extra maybe 100,000. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Will that still be the Suez? Yeah, okay, so let's not go there first. Let's go to the Azores first. And there's just a quick hop to the African coast to, to Morocco there. And we're off. Ah, uh, two days, two days. Okay, go around. Bernie, there we go. How fast can we get there? 39 days. Sure, let's do it. Ah, here we are. New York with a view. So. Fuel up, and we had cargo to Port Hedland if I'm not yet. Yeah, there we go. Port Hedland and the western coast of Australia. And we're we going to this Panama? Yes, okay. Alright, so we have 2.5 million. Let's just have a quick gander at what other ships we might uh, consider. 2.5 million. Governor. You're no good. Um, and Dania, you're pretty much the same as our ship. Faster, but spends more fuel. Rotterdam, wow, you're much too expensive for us. Too expensive. Clan Ross, too expensive. Well done, loyalty. Uh, ships are getting much cheaper now. It's a good time to buy the ships. It's a good time to buy the ships, I see. Okay, well, uh, maybe we'll get two of these and uh, have th three cargo and two tankers. Sounds like a plan, right? Hmm, are these going to be maybe not even cost effective? Maybe we should just have one to test out uh, the market. See if there's a, an actual oil transport market to be had. Uh, too expensive, too big, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. Everything's too expensive for us. Not good enough, too expensive. Not good enough, too expensive. Not good enough, too expensive. Too small. You're not terrible. You're almost twice the size the cost as well but a bit faster that makes a bit of a difference fair star way too expensive way too expensive wow you guzzle up fuel like crazy nope nope metallurg nope pretty fast but yeah too expensive for what it is hmm Yeah, maybe if there's something newer, but these are going to be much more expensive. Yeah, this one's tiny. We don't want that. The Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, not even <laughs> in our dreams. Uh, too expensive, too expensive. It's a common theme. It's a common theme. What we want, we can't afford. Those we can't afford are terrible. Well, okay, maybe let's get one tanker. So, tanker. It's a uh, London Mark One. Yeah. Okay, two days. There we go. And we're going to have an oil tanker. Well, they can also carry chemicals and whatnot. And three cargo ships on our fleet. 
Let's have a quick look at uh, the competition, shall we? So, we got a million seven in the bank, a uh, rank four status. Uh, that still doesn't affect our office uh, appearance, but we're going up through the ranks. So let's check that. And as we can see, we're on top of the pile. With Cargopopoulos at the bottom, and Sheik Al Oila just behind us, even though Generalissimo has the highest amount of assets after us. Um, okay, well these guys have actually lost value since the beginning, so they're, and so have they. So how they are they more valuable? Maybe they have more ships, but the ships are so bad and they lost money. Maybe. Anywho, these guys are sometimes have a tough time making a profit for, with terrible ships they buy, but. What do we care? So, do they have any money? Not really. They're, uh, well, these guys are actually with a deficit. And so are these guys. Yeah, there are anything's pretty close to the wire. Yeah, they don't really have any reserves like we do. We know better. We just know better. So, with a tanker uh, to be delivered in a couple of days, We'll have whole new markets available to our company. But that is going to be next time. Till then.